Good morning, friends. So, obviously, you know that I am in my car right now, and I'm sure you saw the title of this video. CVS changes in their coupon policy. I'm not quite sure what I'll name the video, but it's something to do with CVS. Um, and them changing their coupon policy. Um, I wish that I could... Wait, I don't know if I will be able to actually do this. Um, no, I'm not. If I stop at a red light, I will read you my phone. But um, my phone yesterday, my messages on my DM, my Instagram, my comments on my uh, YouTube, on a lot of my videos that I have, my comments were blowing up about the new coupon policy. And I'm sure a lot of you are aware that there is a email floating around about the changes that are coming and all of that. My thing, or let me see how I put this, my views to that is basically, I don't care. And if you're wondering why are you being so nonchalant about it, the reason is, is for me, I don't read everything that comes on the internet. I can't because a lot of stuff that comes up is not true. Oop, the sun is shining right in my eyes. And I basically think about, feel about it is I live for today. I think about tomorrow. But I don't worry about things that I have no control over. So I'm not stressed about the CVS policy changes. I do not have a confirmation on the email that is floating around. If you saw it on Instagram or Facebook or somebody messaged you the picture, I have no confirmation on that. What I did do is call my reliable source at CVS. I can confirm to you. A lot of people are asking me, is CVS not accepting expired coupons anymore? Um, what's going on with the email that's going on? I will tell you what I heard firsthand yesterday, or I'm sorry, yesterday's Monday, on Sunday when I went shopping. I was shopping at a different CVS store. That's when I went and got the Viva. I'm sure you watched that video. As I was getting my coupons ready, I'm sorry if the sun, the sun is blocking me so bad right now um i was standing at the counter getting my stuff ready to um check out and as another lady was checking out she was talking about her ecbs and i could just overhear their conversation and the cashier did her did tell her oh we'll take it and she said something about coupons i couldn't hear and she said oh it's okay ma'am um we take expired coupons so a lot of people say that their stores don't take expired coupons. It's, it's each store. So all of these policies that are coming up, I believe that each store has a different policy that is going on right now. So when you read something, it may necessarily be that that person got their email for their store and maybe eventually CVS is going to change everything for all stores. But I know if I heard yesterday, and that's at a store that I've never shopped at, I heard a cashier say, it's okay ma'am, we take expired coupons. I retain that knowledge, okay, for future references, if my store is out of something, I know which CVS that I'm going to go to if I happen to have an expired coupons. I'm not saying that I'm telling you to use an expired coupons, but in my area, a lot of the stores do take them. Now, we're not talking about a coupon that's two, three weeks expired. We're talking a couple of days expired. And wow, the lighting totally changed. Thank you, because the sun was totally in my eyes from the direction I was coming from. So, each store is a little bit different. I would tell you, don't get panicked about it. You know, um, CVS, CVS is a store that I've mastered as a couponer. And if some things change in the future, that just means that I'm going to master another store. I very capable of couponing at other stores. I just prefer CVS because of their coupon policy and their ECBs that they give out. 
I personally believe that nothing is going to change. I could be wrong, but what I can confirm to you right now, when I, sp I called and spoke to my reliable source, and this is what he told me. I asked him, what is going on? There's an email floating around. I basically read to him what the email said. He told me, he's like, I haven't had that issue. What changes are going on in our store is that when people come in with multiple CVS cards, I'm guilty of that, we can't do multiple transactions at the counter when you come in with several different CVS cards. That doesn't affect me because I don't need to do 10 transactions at the counter. What I can do, get what I need to get, go to my car, go put that stuff away, go back in CVS and shop again or go to next day or go to a different CVS. That doesn't affect me. The next thing he said was people that come in with an entire group and an entire family and all of their kids have CVS cards, they are not gonna allow that. I'm not guilty of that, but I did see it when I was shopping the other day when I took you guys on that CVS trip with me. There was a family that went in there. They had five kids that were holding hands actually did record it. I think I cropped, I edited it out of the video and they all walked in together and they said that they are not going to allow that anymore. And another thing was, was, um, coupon overriding. If a cute, they are only allowed to override two coupons. If your coupon does not scan. And when that happens, they have to call the manager over. The manager has to scan their card. And then it's going to be up to the manager to allow the coupon. Now, I don't have that problem because when I'm at CVS, I match up all of my coupons before I go to the store. And I make sure that all of my coupons are going to scan. Now, for some reason, if they don't scan, I don't have like five coupons that aren't scanning. Majority of my coupons, they all work. They all scan because... Um, someone that does coupon fraud or tries to use a coupon for the wrong product you know I will make mistakes but I don't go out shopping with the intentions of using the wrong coupons that's not me and you guys know if I use the wrong coupon I will let you know and next up the thing that's going around if you aren't aware basically what it's saying, it's basically making the Dollar General rule. At Dollar General, you have to reach the total even after coupons before they will take off the $5 off of 20 or whatever coupon um, that they're giving you, store coupon. So the email that's floating around that someone got is saying that when they spend so much and they have a $4 off of a $20 purchase and they've already met $50 and their total is now $5. Well, they can't get the four off of 20 because their total is not $20. It has to still be $20 even after coupons. That is what is floating around. And I cannot confirm whether that is true or not. I am not saying that the sources that you are getting this from are not reliable sources because I think they're great sites. I just feel like I don't believe everything that comes off the internet until it happens to me. Once it happens to me, then I will confirm. Hey guys, I want you guys to know I went to CVS today and in my area, this is what happened. So it does not affect me. I'm not in the least bit worried about it. I'm going to continue to shop at CVS. I do shop at other stores, but CVS is just my main store. So it does not affect me. I'm not worried about it. I'm actually in the same place that I was yesterday. And I want to tell everybody, don't freak out. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. We're going to get through this. Um, where It's not the end of the world. I know some people were stressing out because they renewed a coupon. Um, somebody else was just like, I'm so confused. I don't know what to do. Don't do anything. Hey, man, when I panic, then you panic. But until then, 
put your seatbelt on and enjoy this ride because we are in it to win it guys we are like getting all of these deals right now and if it does change and something does dramatically change with the coupon policy take a step back and look at your stock the stockpile just go inside and look at it and view it and say damn I'd like to thank CBS and those ECBs for being able to give me all of this. It was good while it lasted. Now it's time to hop on another roller coaster, aka move along to a different store. I'm not saying that I'll ever leave CBS because CBS is my store. But if you feel that way, then just try to master another store. And it can be done. There are great couponers out there that get tons of stuff that do not shop at CVS. The way to do that, you have to dish out money first in order to be able to get things back. When I say that, I'm saying Target. You cannot go into Target and walk out with $30 in gift cards and not spend anything. Just like you do at CVS. At CVS, you can spend a minimal amount and earn CBC, uh, ECBs back and barely spend anything out of pocket because you have to reach this certain amount before coupons. Well, at Target, when that happens, you have to shell out some money in order to continue to keep getting gift cards. You don't see me shopping at Target a lot. Even though they have great deals that are going on, I don't want to shell out any money. I don't. Even if it's out of my coupon fund, I don't want to spend my money on something that I can get with an ECB. Because I'm sure eventually in whenever, 2020 or 2050, I don't know, I'm just throwing numbers out of my head, ECBs won't be around anymore because they are wasting a lot of paper. I'm sure that that's going to change. A lot of people have said that, but that hasn't happened. So, basically, don't stress about it, guys. Again, what I confirmed um, with my reliable source was that the overrides with the coupons, they can't manually do it no more than two, and when they do, the managers have to come over and approve it. You can't do multiple transactions at the counter anymore if you have more than one CVS card. You know, I would chunk that up to with it being who's your cashier, if they like you, if you're comfortable with your cashier. If they're going to let you do it, they're going to let you do it. If they're not, they're not. And if that happens, hey, don't worry about it. Pay for one thing, head over to another CVS and get the other one. Or give somebody your other CVS card write down what to, what to do, what to spend, how to spend it, and tell them, hey, I'm going in this store to get this, you go to this store and get this. There's always a way around couponing, a legit way. Um, just don't use the wrong coupons, and kind of just don't take advantage of it. You know, I know some people have several people in their family, but when you walk in the store, when it's you and your two sisters, and you have five kids with you, and every single kid has a CVS card, and you're having your children check out, I don't judge. I'm not going to judge you. I'm just saying that's kind of abusing the system. And again, I'm not judging you because I don't care if you do that, but CVS does. The more the merrier. If you want to shop like that, you go right ahead, but it does not affect me one bit. I'm getting what I need to get. I don't care if you have 10 kids with you. That doesn't bother me. I don't judge anyone, but I know at my store, they're not liking that anymore. So again, I do shop at two CVSs. I shop at a CVS by my job Monday through Friday. When I don't get what I need to get on the weekends at my normal CVS by my house, I shop Monday through Friday during my lunch break at the CVS by my job. And I have done at least two transactions at the register. I don't make myself so obvious and I don't hold up lines. So there are times that I do go back out to my car, put things away and tell them I'll be right back. That's not gonna change with me. I'm gonna continue to do the same thing. And I think that's it 
guys so I just want to tell you don't panic about what's going on with those policies until it happens to you don't stress about it because just because it's on the internet does not necessarily mean that sorry I'm gonna continue to shop at CVS I'm gonna continue to do my deals and you guys I know it's hard to believe what so many people are saying because you can listen to me and say well I don't believe what she's saying and then somebody puts this on the internet and you're like well they're a reliable source they have a whole bunch of people that follow their websites and like I said I think those sites are great sites I just don't happen to um, get affected or let it bother me because it has not affected me in any way at all in couponing up oh, I need gas it has not affected me in any way so I'm not gonna worry about it so I hope you guys enjoy your today's Tuesday I hope you guys enjoy your Tuesday and I will see you later tonight I do plan on doing the upcoming CVS deals and remember I told you guys if you don't have the CVS app on your phone get it because you're gonna need it all right have a wonderful Tuesday I love you guys and thanks so much for watching I hope this cleared up anything um, and we are going to get through the CVS changes of the coupon policy because nothing so far has happened yet all right bye Christina, I just read your message. Great deals on Viva. Too bad I don't get the high value coupons. Thanks for sharing and thank you for watching, Christina. You know, I did not get those coupons either. Like I told you, I was very fortunate and somebody mailed them to me. They did not come in my area at all. I did not get them. And April, I hope I answered your question. What do you think about the new CVS policy? And uh, let's see. Mysterious Lions, great as usual. I went out and got some deals by rolling those ECBs. I left with $21 in ECBs. Thank you for showing me how to roll the ECBs. You're con you congratulations, you're welcome. I'm glad my videos helped you. And Nina Salas, thanks for sharing. I have a question. Is it true CVS is not accepting expired coupons anymore? This video was for you, Nina, as well. I hope I answered that question in the beginning of the video for you. Again, each CVS is different. And hi, Tammy. Thanks for watching. She put awesome deals. Thanks for sharing. The end made me want some cake funny story behind that cake my husband just wanted some Sam's cake that day so I went out and I bought him a cake but I got the wrong icing I got him buttercream and he wanted whipped and it's not a lot of times that my husband usually asks for things so when he did I decided I wanted to get him a cake so I ended up back at Sam's with buying him a whipped icing cake and the big other cake we had we gave it to my neighbor so that was cool so that cake was good and that was the first thing that I had eaten all day I was starving and it was so good and let's see from Denise Horn hello Tony I love your videos I get a lot of good deals at CVS because of your videos I have a question have you heard about the changes they will be doing their, doing to their coupon policy? People are talking about it all over Facebook and Instagram. All right, and I hope that that has answered the question. Yes, I've heard about it. Yes, I've seen it. When I see it, I disregard it. Until it happens to me, I don't, well, I don't worry about it because um, it doesn't affect me right now. So, love you guys. And